I, uh, I gotta tell you, leaving that woman's house that morning, it felt, felt like, like the clouds were lifting. Not parting, but lifting. I'm sure you've all been through something in your life, and you all know that moment. That moment where you're like, I don't, I think things are gonna be okay. And I was riding my bike, I ride a bike every day. It's how I get around, it's my meditation. I love it. I don't look good on a bike. Like you, my gilet wearing friend. You must look mwah on a bicycle. I see you on a bike headed towards Leith. I immediately just think, oh, he's off to teach blind kids about graphic design. <laughs> you see me on a bicycle and you just assume I got caught drinking and driving so many times. I now have to ride a bike. And I was riding the bike through uh, Los Angeles where I live. I am a uh, Canadian who lives in America. And if you're in this room right now, uh, judging me uh, for living in America, and you are Scottish, please fill your boots. Judge away. Have a lovely time. If you're uh, judging me and you're English, you can suck my d <laughs> Your country is just as bad. It's just evil in different ways. And the vibe down there, have you been? Have you been recently? I can tell these three bald men, you've been recently, especially you, my friend, with eyes that go, make fun of them. Do it. I will. You take a train from Edinburgh, and by the time you hit that fucking border, it feels like you've taken, gone through a tunnel that's entered in my dad's head while he's driving. Just needlessly angry and accidentally racist all the time. <laughs> And America, yeah, each day it's marching closer and closer to a neo-Christian fascist state. Can't argue with you. Here's what you need to remember. I live in Los Angeles, California. 360 days of sunlight. Do you know how nice that weather is? It's so nice, you forget about fascism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and here's what you do not understand about America. There is no evil in their hearts. I know it looks like they're filled with hate. It's not that. It's that they have not had an education system for 45 years. They're trying to help the earth. They don't know how, so this is what happens. I know you don't believe me, but think about it. They were told Saddam Hussein was bad. They went in, got rid of them, found some oil, and went, well, we love oil. That comes with us. <laughs> they took away a woman's right to decide what to do with her own body, and they didn't communicate why they did it. They didn't do it because they believe women are second-class citizens. They just want those kids to die, not in a woman's body, but in a school, or from climate change, <laughs> or from the opioid crisis. Do you understand? The I can feel this tension, and you go, yourselves. I'm fucking right and I'm you're fucking wrong. The English, they're fucking evil. Have you fucking seen them? Have you fucking seen Jacob Reese Mogg with a double breasted suit that conveys, oh the last time you got a hard <laughs> is when you closed a hospital. Do you understand? <laughs> but when you look at the Americans, they're just trying to fucking help. They're just too fucking stupid. The American flag should not be the stars and stripes. It should be a man stood in front of a nuclear bomb's mushroom cloud saying, I did not know it was going to do that. <laughs> That's my favorite noise at the Edinburgh Festival, which is one person starts to applaud and everyone else goes, disagree. 